Hey everyone, it's Miss Marilise, and I'm here to share the art lesson with you guys. I'm so excited to share what we're going to do today. I know that we've been learning about community helpers, and there's so many wonderful community helpers that help us every day. One that I wanted to talk about today are nurses. So do you know who nurses are and what they do? I'll give you a hint. We have all seen nurses before. So whenever we go to the doctor's office for a checkup or if we're not feeling good, when we get into the room, the very first person we see is a friendly nurse. So what do nurses do? Well, they help doctors to make sure that we stay healthy. How do they do that? They use different tools to check on us. They give us medicine if we're not feeling good. They use bandages to help us if we have a boo-boo and they work so hard. So we talked about one place where we see nurses. We see them at the doctor's office. Can you think of other places where we can see nurses? There's a school nurse. So there's nurses at schools. There's also nursing home where we see nurses that take care of elderly people. They could be grandmas or grandpas. Nurses and doctors take care of people from infants newborn babies, all the way to people that are over 100 years old. There's one more place that we didn't talk about, emergency rooms. So sometimes if someone isn't feeling good and it's really serious and it can't wait until the doctor's office opens, they go to the emergency room. It could be in the middle of the night, on the weekend, and you'll always find a nurse there. They work day and night to make sure that you're taken care of and make you feel better. So let's take a look at some pictures of nurses. Let's take a look at these nurses. What do you notice about what they're wearing? They have a lot of things on, don't they? Is there anything that you see that's familiar? Let's look at this, what are those? We see these every day, right? Those are face masks. Now, it's hard to tell because it's see-through, but do you see this that's covering their face? That's a plastic shield, it's called a face shield. So when people come to see the nurses and the doctors, sometimes they don't feel good and they could accidentally sneeze or cough and germs can get to them. And so they wear all this protective equipment to make sure that they keep us safe, but that also they're safe too, so they can continue to take care of us. So what else do we see? They're covering their hair with a hairnet. They're wearing something that's called scrubs. So you can see the pants that are under and the top that's on top. And then they cover that with a disposable gown. What do they have on their hands? they have disposable gloves. So what that means is after they're done taking care of a person, they're also called a patient, then they throw away this gown and the gloves and get brand new fresh ones. Let's look at what kind of tools nurses use to make sure that we're okay, keep us healthy and take good care of us. So did you guys recognize any of the supplies that nurses use in the picture that we just saw? How about in this tray? Nurses and doctors use a bunch more things, but these are some examples of what they use. What's this? And this. These two do the exact same thing. Do you know what they're called? They're called thermometers. And so every day we go into school and when you go to the doctor's office, the nurse takes your temperature to see if you're running a fever or just make sure you're just the right amount of body temperature to be nice and healthy. What about that? What is that called? A Band-Aid. So if you have a boo-boo, the nurse will clean it right up and they will put this Band-Aid on you. So the Band-Aid has two parts. This white rectangle shape is called a gauze, and that's what covers the actual boo-boo. 
and the rest of it is just tape to hold it down to keep it secure and from falling off. Sometimes, if there's a boo-boo that's bigger than the Band-Aid can cover, they'll use a bigger piece of that white gauze, and then they'll use surgical tape like this to hold it in place. Another reason that we would go to the doctor's office and see the nurse is for shots. And so they will use syringes um, to give the injections. First, what they'll do is they will clean the area really well with an alcohol swab that disinfects all the germs and everything, it feels cold and wet, and they just clean it off. And then it's time for the shot with a syringe. And so the syringe is thin and long. That's one kind. This is another kind. One syringe has a needle, this one does not. See, it has a hole and it's wider and it has numbers. And if you hold it like this and then pull, see how that black line is going up? That sucks up the liquid, the medicine, like cough syrup or any kind of medicine that you would need to take. And then for little babies or kids or even some grown-ups, it goes in the mouth and you take the medicine like that. There's also, what are these? They're just cups, right? We have cups like that. They call them medicine cups. For grown-ups, sometimes there's pills that we swallow or they'll put the liquid inside to drink. And so there we have it. Here are some of the tools that nurses use to help keep us healthy, take care of us, and make us feel better. Now guess what? We're gonna use some of these tools to make art with. Can you guess what we're gonna use? Hmm, let's see. How about the surgical tape? The medicine cup? <gasps> and the syringe. All right, let's get to it. I'll show you how to do it in the next step. Okay, so first step is we're going to get our paint and put it in our medicine cups. We have one cup for each color. So I'm using the primary colors, red. So I'm gonna put a little bit, don't need much. Mm, maybe about a quarter full. All right, now let's get some blue, some yellow, because you know if we have the primary colors, we can make any color in the rainbow. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white. And this, these are some of the cups we have at school. So I'm going to use these because they work just as well. All right, so we have our paint. Then we're going to get our surgical tape and we're going to bandage up our artwork. So I've already started, you can see here. I'm going to add one more line. And you guys decide where you're going to put the surgical tape. It's totally up to you. You can practice and play nurse and bandage up your artwork. All right, so now I'm so excited. We're gonna get to use these syringes. So we have to pinch our fingers like little claws and then we're gonna use our helper hand, okay? So let's practice. We have our cup and we're gonna use this part because remember it has a hole. We're gonna put it in, then we're gonna hold it with our helper hand here, and then with our pincher, we're going to pull. And as you pull, I want you guys to see. Oh, you hear that sound? It's filling up, look at that, it's all the way full. So now, we're gonna get our pinchers and see how it fits right here, there's two little grooves, and then we're gonna put our thumb here. Now, it comes out really, really fast. So you guys can practice before you actually start painting. So you could do little drops at a time, or you can squirt around. You guys decide. You are the artist. You are the nurse for this painting. And you can create it however you want. All right, so there's no more. I've pushed it all the way down. I won't go down anymore. So now I'm gonna get Let's see, how about some blue? Should I do blue or yellow? Eh, I think I wanna do yellow. All right, so same thing. We're gonna put it in all the way, then you're gonna hold it with your helper hand like this, and you guys would have it on the table. So let's see, see you'd have it like that. 
hold it and then pull, 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 pull. And you can feel, because it doesn't pull easy, and you can see how it's filling up. And check it out. I had some red, and then I filled it with yellow, and look, they mix together. What color is that? Orange. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, it's making bubbly sounds. <laughs> so much fun. I think I want to add a little bit more. Okay, now let's see. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna add some blue. Same thing, squeeze. Now, if you're having a hard time with a syringe, don't worry, because we also have our little dropper that we can use, and it's the same concept. I'm gonna show you with a white on that one. All right, so we've got that, and squeeze, and have fun with it. Okay, I can't push it anymore. I've used it all. Okay, I think I want, let's see, a little bit of the white. No, I want some yellow. So I squeeze it, I put it in, and then I release it. You see that? Look, let me try it. I need to add a little bit more yellow. Okay, so I'm squeezing it, I'm putting it in, then I'm letting go. Oh, do you hear that sound? And did you see how it filled up? And now I've got enough to squeeze. If you're having a hard time with syringe, you can always use the dropper. All right, I'm gonna try the white one. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. Look at that. Isn't that cool, all the colors mixing together? Oh, and I filled it all the way up. That's one teaspoon. I filled it up to five. Okay, fingers here and squeeze. This reminds me of the artist Jackson Pollock who did action paintings like this. And there is our artwork. Now, if you want, you can remove the bandages and see what it looks like once you remove it or if you like the way it is like that, I think I kind of like it. Then your artwork is done. All right, guys. Next time we see a nurse, let's give them a big thank you for all their hard work and for taking good care of us and keeping us healthy. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.